G'day, Paul from Small Crown Productions here. Welcome to today's 100 Days of Shakespeare video. Today, I'm chatting with Colin Smith. Colin is a classically trained actor who's done a lot of Shakespeare, a lot of Shakespeare. And uh, he is talking about imagery in Shakespeare's text and how that informs his work in contemporary theater as well. So let's take a look. <laughs> So, Cole, you want to talk about imagery. What What is it about imagery? Yeah. Tell us you about bet. that. You bet. I mean, there's something that's kind of lacking, I think, really in contemporary theatre, and it's straying away from the poetics, really. It's it's not as, um, I mean, you know, you could say that um, that contemporary theatre is, is definitely less flowery than um, than, than classical theatre is. And um, I... I, uh, I mean, that's that's probably good, you know. Let's let's go for naturalism, realism, whatever you like to want to call it. But um, I mean, uh, classical theatre and Shakespeare in particular, I mean, has a good grounding in imagery, and I think um, you know, if you, we're using in a metaphor, simile. Um, you know, a thing is like a thing, a thing is a thing. Um, so uh, when Hamlet talks about the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, you know, he's talking about. Um, uh, you know, um, he's talking about uh, war imagery there, you know, uh, about, about weapons and, uh, you know, um, distance weapons, the things hitting him. And, and you know, when, when, when a person is um, under the gun as far as depression and, 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 uh, and stress goes, it does feel like you're being pummeled. And um, for, for that sort of stuff to be so embedded in, in Shakespeare's language is such a gift. It's um, it's not like contemporary theatre where you have to reach for a metaphor or um, you know, say, oh, you know, what is my character going through, and um, you know, how can I relate to them as a person in my own experiences? When when Shakespeare really lays it out, mm. he says, yeah, like this is this is like being at war. It's like it's like being battered upon by 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 sharp objects and 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 stones and bullets you know um so you you don't have to think too hard to go oh you know this is what it is like because of my grounding in 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 classical theater now i go into contemporary projects looking for those sorts of clues and um you know, I, I think it's it's a, it's a useful tool for any actor to have in the in the tool belt to kind of go, oh, okay, what sort of images can I pull out? Um, you know, what what are the what are the the, the symbols and and the, and the metaphors that I can kind of draw on to go to, to make my performance richer? Yeah, I love um, that. So I, I really love that. Yeah, I, I, I've heard it mm. said by some people that the the way they phrase it anyway is that they believe Shakespeare mm. has no subtext. You know, absolutely, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that sense of it all just being laid out on the page for you as a character, which for yeah, sure, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not Chekhov where you gotta, <laughs> gotta go. What are these characters really, really thinking? You know, you really got to dig deep, but you know, like they, they definitely speak what's on their mind, and that is, that's, that is a real gift uh, to any actor, I think. I mean, I, people probably will think that it's it's way too removed from the way that we think. But you know, it's it's um when we get down to the and this is probably going to go into my next point when we when we get on to uh, you know what poetry is about. It is about emotions, and it is often about um, about that sort of uh, unnatural, maybe um, not so so apparent. Uh, things that uh, that's come, that come up in life, things that that are, that become images to try and try and get around um, what we're trying to explain, rather than it being kind of very direct. And and that um, you know that might that might remove you from from what you're going through. But I think that it's it's um, when you dig deep, it's informative rather than it being it being too removed from um, from from the experience. You know, you just got to just got to find out what that image means to you and um, how it relates to what you're going through. And it's a good key to, to informing your practice. There we go. Let the imagery inform the work that you do. Love that. Love that. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video today. It would be great if you could give it a thumbs up and of course hit that subscribe button. Uh, and then I encourage you to check out some of these other videos that will appear. And uh, there'll be another couple of conversations with Colin across our 100 Days of Shakespeare. So make sure you check out those as well. Thanks very much. I will see you on the next one.